Welcome to I Question PH. Today's question is What are gymnosperms or non flowering plants? Many plants have flowers that help them to make seeds in order to reproduce. However, some plants do not use flowers for reproduction. These plants are called non-flowering plants or gymnosperms. Gymnosperm comes from the Greek words gymnos meaning naked and sperma meaning seed. So it means gymnosperms are plants with naked seeds. In comparison, the angiosperms or flowering plants have ovules that are protected by a layer of tissue called a carpel. The naked state of the ovule is a unifying feature of the gymnosperm, but often these ovules are not visible to the naked eye. So now, let us study some examples of non-flowering plants and their life cycle. The first one are the conifers. The word conifers means bearing cones. Conifers are plants that use cones to house their seeds. Conifers are woody plants and most of them are trees such as pine trees, firs, cypresses, junipers, cedars, and redwoods. Conifers reproduce using their cones. Some cones are male and some are female. The male cones release pollen. This pollen is carried by the wind. If the pollen lands on a female cone, then the female cone will produce seeds. The hard scales of the cone protect the new seeds as they grow. However, there are some non-flowering plants that don't produce seeds. Instead, they use spores to reproduce. Spore-producing plants include plants such as mosses and ferns. Spores are tiny organisms that usually contain only a single cell. Plants that make spores produce huge numbers of them. Because they are so small and light, they can be dispersed by the wind to new locations where they can grow. Mosses have thin brown stalks with capsules at the top. The life cycle of moss plants begins with a sexual reproduction. During the sexual reproduction stage, a single spore develops into the green adult plant. This adult plant has male structures that produce sperm and female structures that produce eggs. The sperm is carried by water to the female structure where fertilization will occur. The fertilized egg will develop into a brown stalk with capsules that contain the spores. The cycle then repeats itself. Fern, like mosses, begin their life cycle with a sexual reproduction. They produce spores on the undersides of their leaves, which are called fronts. The spore case opens to release the spores. Spores that find the right conditions will grow into small heart-shaped plants with male and female structures. If the male sex cell fertilizes, the female sex cell, the fertilized egg forms a new plant. The new plant then develops into a leafy fern plant. 
The cycle repeats itself when the spore cases on the fronds produce and release spores. Gymnosperms may not be as colorful as angiosperms and they may not provide us with anything good to eat. But this type of plants play a great role to make our planet a great place to live. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.